Hello Pisces, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to reading. So please keep in mind that this is done reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, for Pisces, please. Please bear for Pisces. A love situation for Pisces. Please bear. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so someone in this situation could have options choices there could be interference here okay so it could have sabotaged this connection because there was interference it could be third parties addictions codependencies okay so let's see for the present situation confusion as well five of wands definitely interference here seven of cups five of wands and this interference creates conflicts between you two arguments you're not on the same page i'm getting you two are on different levels you don't understand one another why is the five of wands a chariot so cancer someone's to move in your direction though someone's put behind the seven of cups five of wands and move in in your direction here so if there was interference this person wants out they, they don't want this anymore they know what they want they want to move in your direction why is a chariot here why is a chariot here the lovers gemini there could have been karmic interference yeah could have been a third party influencing your person create a lot of confusion but i think your person is very clear in what they want they're going to release everything else and they're going to come towards you into partnership and they want to be on the same page yeah they want to be on the same level as you they don't want conflict misunderstandings they really want harmony peace with you union partnership and love someone loves you so let's see for the blocker potential. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here wants to see you. Someone wants to see you here. If there was arguments, someone wants to make peace with you. Someone here... Some feels like they could have invested into the wrong situation. Yeah, some feels like they wasted their time here. When they should have been with you the whole time. Someone here wants to see you. That's for sure. They want equal give and take. So they want for you to feel the same way. So they want. They don't want conflicts. Why is the six of pentacles? Why is the six of pentacles? The five of cups. Someone misses you. Someone misses your love. What you gave to them. They can find it anywhere else. Someone has a lot of regret. Yeah, someone has a lot of regret investing the wrong situation here. Sounds very sad. Sounds very disappointed. So, what is the Five of Cups? The Tower. Yeah, some someone had like some sort of revelation, epiphany about the whole thing. That they even just really were not in the right situation here. Yeah. A lot of like a big revelation, wake up call here. So, there's going to be major changes. That's the Tower. Major changes. And it's going to redirect this person towards you. So let's see for the recent past. The Nine of Pentacles. So someone's acting as if they were single. That's why it's like arguments. You're just not on the same page. You wanted commitment, stability. This person wanted to act single. They wanted to do whatever they wanted. To act all independent. As if they were not in the connection with you but see now the lovers talks about partnership and union here teamwork that's not what was happening in the past here there was no teamwork in the past so why is the nine of pentacles the emperor yeah someone here was wearing a false mask i think right that's why there are a lot of arguments here. Someone's making you like false promises of commitment, stability, while the whole time they're just doing whatever, what it is that they wanted. They're just really not interested to fully committing to this. 
stagnating this connection, right? Always being at this Nine of Pentacles energy because you wanted the Ten of Pentacles, but they they were not willing to go that extra mile here. So they kept stagnating at the Nine. Yeah, someone here was definitely pretending to be someone that they were not. I'm getting a lot of ego here. So Aries, why is the Emperor here? The Eight of Wands, yeah. And then they just left. Someone left the, the connection here. So you or your person, but someone left the situation. Someone could have just ran away from commitment, right? Because they still wanted to act as if they were single. They, would, they did not want to be, you know, in a partnership. They were, I don't think this person was ready for this. So, but there's a lot of confusion here. Yeah. I think this person was very confused. I mean, the Eight of Wands, it's like, it all looks so scattered here, though. I think this person left. But they were, if this is what it was your person, I don't think they knew what it is that they were doing. And that's why... I think they, this person now realizes that, you know, they didn't make the right decision. So let's see for the focus, for the focus, the Ten of Cups, partnership. This person all wants partnership. So, someone here does not want to be bad terms with you. They definitely want to reconnect with you. They want to, they still have love for you. They see this connection as very fulfilling, loving, and happy. So I could be obsessed about you now. Let's see for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Four of Swords. So how am I going to get to Pisces now? Now that I'm all focusing on partnership after messing up. So Four of Swords, they're, now they have to think. You know, how to approach you here. How to be on the same level as you, on the same page. How to be in good terms with you. They want your attention here. Yeah, they're really trying to figure things out now. How to get into partnership with you. After running away from that. So let's see for the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords? Well. They need to put in effort, eight of pentacles, that's what they need to do. I mean, you know, to get to this ten of pentacles with you, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, partnership. Yeah, someone now, it's like, they're running away from, you know, putting in that effort, right, from committing. But now, I think this person with a tower moment, they're going to have a big realization here that they need to put in effort. So let's see for the near future. For the near future. The Fool. So they're going to take a leap of faith towards you, towards the connection. Aries, towards happiness. They're going to go for it. So let's see for the Fool. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at that. Someone's all about commitment, stability. Sound good have their finances straight here yeah someone could have money here they worked on themselves someone's not ready for commitment so they want to give you right now they want to be a real king of pentacles you know for you or be a real emperor okay that they were not in the past and now provide for this connection nurture this connection right invest yeah because someone feels like they invested in the wrong situation here so let's see for the king of pentacles the hierophant someone's all someone's obsessed about commitment all i see is commitment now partnership union what happened here so you had a big influence on this person I don't know what you did, but someone's, I mean, someone's in love with you, right? So, they're wanting, they're willing to put in the effort now. So, let's see for the what you know. The Wheel of Fortune changes. Yeah, changes. They're definitely, I mean, next to the tower. 
I think the universe could have helped your person a little bit, right? With the tower and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I think the universe is behind this because there's like a lot of love here. So why is the wheel of fortune? Why is the wheel of fortune here? The temperance card. So they want to heal things with you. They want to restore balance. Yeah, because now they're a king of pentacles. Now they could do that, right? Now they, there could be this reciprocity, equal give and take. And also someone here, someone could have just acted all cold and distant towards you and now they they don't want to do that anymore so they want to bring back the love so sagittarius why is the temperance card the four of cups they feel that they missed an opportunity with you yeah four of cups someone feels like they missed an opportunity they were not seeing what it is that you were offering to them. They were not seeing your cup of love. They're focusing on options here at the time. Okay. But that's going to be the opposite here. Now they're releasing the options and focusing on this connection. So let's see for the, for the outcome. The seven of pentacles. Yeah. They're now they want to invest. I mean, Definitely, they see, they're going to take that leap of faith because they see a big opportunity with you. This is, you know, the connection that they should have invested in, in the first time, right? Because they just didn't see the potential at the time. So that's why they feel like they, they wasted their time with another situation or other situations, okay? Could have been more than one person. That they weren't involved with. So let's see for the Seven of Pentacles. For the Seven of Pentacles. The Magician. They're manifesting you back. They don't know how you feel. Because the Temperance card talks about, you know, a balance of emotions. So they want to tell you how they feel. But they don't know if you feel the same way. Yeah. This person may be, you know, may not be so sure. So they're attracting you to them. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting things going well. They want for you to also see the potential in them. Because they could fear, right? That you still see them as this false emperor. As someone who is wearing a mask. As someone who is lying to you. And they don't want for you to view them that way any longer. So, yeah. So before taking action, they're making sure that, you know, they're manifesting good things here. So Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, and Virgo. So why is the magician here? The high priestess. So their intuition here look we have the high priestess and the high friend. so you're dealing with a soulmate here there's there's a, a strong connection this person still feels this connection even though there's distance they still feel your energy vice versa are your person still in your energy your person's not able to release you okay yeah your person still feels very connected to you so you could be connected spiritually like you know have this uh, connection telepathic connection and so this person could be receiving signs and also yeah their intuition is screaming at them that this feels right right this is the right one you're the right person for them this is the right connection for them there's just a lot of potential here and they're manifesting this okay they're manifesting this because right now there's that five of wands right you're not on good terms. So they're manifesting. They're attracting you, right? So that they can make commands with you. So that's it, Pisces. So I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Take care. Bye.